played a very small piece in a large puzzle and I contribute all the success of it to uh, the guys top side and the guys on the bottom who uh, helped make it happen. Do you want me to bring my camera? Hearing from the Louisville firefighter who lifted a Cisco truck driver to safety after Friday's multi car crash sent that semi hanging over the second street bridge for hours. The rescue aired live right here on the noon show Friday, capturing the nation's attention all weekend long. This morning, GMA spoke to both our fire chief and the firefighter hailed the hero during it all. The driver of this semi truck's lucky to be alive after surviving a nightmare high above the Ohio on Friday. Our video captured the truck dangling off the Clark Memorial Bridge with the driver still inside. And this semi hanging over the edge of the bridge, hanging over the water. Louisville firefighter Bryce Carden seen lowering himself down to pull the driver to safety. She was, you know, scared. And uh, she was just, thank God, thank God, help me, you know. The risky operation taking around 40 minutes. Firefighter Carden hooking the woman into his harness some 100 feet above the water. Both of them carefully hoisted back onto the bridge. Finally, when she realized that she was safe and she was going to live, she was overcame with emotions as anybody would be. Investigators say the truck was sent over the edge by a car that crossed into the wrong lane, striking the semi. It is uh, tremendously lucky. If you look at the way that that semi truck kind of threaded the needle of those bridge stanchions, but then ended up getting wedged in there and not plowing through and ending up in the water. Louisville's mayor praising the driver for her bravery and the rescue team for their heroic actions. She is incredibly brave. She is incredibly fortunate. Firefighter Carden thankful for his crew. I played a very small piece in a large puzzle and I contribute all the success of it to uh, the guys top side and the guys on the bottom who uh, helped make it happen. And right now plans to repair that second street bridge are in the works. The transportation cabinet reopened it about a day later. Uh, they've looked at it above and below the roadway deck. They've examined the structural steel, the damaged sidewalk, and uh, all the connecting supporting structure there. The assessment confirms that the bridge is safe for vehicular travel. And take a look. You can see the damage to the sidewalk. KYTC said it's putting together an emergency maintenance project to address that sidewalk as well as the damaged hand railing.